It's that time of the year where you can sweat over your March Madness selections. Filling out a bracket typically comes with tons of research and hours of study. But why? Matt Lively is out to prove that even the best bracket can be due to luck. The NCAA says that there are no verified perfect brackets and just because we're sports reporters, people think that we know all the picks or that there's some science behind it. That's not true at all. And to prove that, I've called in four experts who don't watch college basketball. Hello. Hi, Ani. Hi, darling. How's my boy? Yes, I consulted the grandmothers, four of them to be exact, none of whom really watch college hoops. The last time I have to tell you that I watched basketball was the Boston Celtics. Okay, wrong league, but we're on the right path. To see if luck is involved in filling out a bracket, I figured this was the place to start. I called both of my grandmothers and Six News' Bailey Bates, Gammy, and Nana to fill out one region each. How much do you know about college basketball? Nothing. College basketball? I really do don't. First things first, we had to get something out of the way. Yo, is there a wager on this? No, no wager. Are you trying to make some money off of this? <laughs> oh, well, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> some of their picks came with family bias. The Arkansas. My brother lives there. Others for their name. I'd say the Gales. They have a better ring to them. It wasn't all college basketball chat, as you might expect when gabbing with a grandma. And I said, what Walmart? And she told me, and I said, that's on the north side of Arlington. When we got back to talking shop, the strongest trend I found in this bracket, a love for their grandchildren. Texas A&M versus Penn State. Oh, I'll say Texas A&M. I have a granddaughter that goes there. It fueled us right to the final four, where my alma mater, Arizona State, was facing Nana's Texas A&M Aggies. I had no shot. On to the national championship, and our bracket winner is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stick with A&M. Okay. My granddaughter. My granddaughter would be proud. Sure, it might not be the nation's pick for a bracket, but luck has its place in March. I'm sure of it. At the end of the day, I just hoped I created a few college hoop fans. Are you gonna watch any of the games? Probably not. <laughs> for six sports. Thank you for filling out a bracket with me. Oh, I love you. Thank you for thinking of me. I'm Matt Lively. That was awesome. Matt will be updating that bracket here on air as the tournament progresses. You can also head to our website, kcentv.com, to check out their full selections.